Cosplay. The act of dressing as a character from media, celebrities, or other popular icons. It is an act of bringing a character alive through yourself, an international phenomena which started in 1939 at a science fiction convention in America. But the concept of cosplay didn't begin until 1980 in Japan. It has been misconstrued as something strange, something to cause drama, and something only young teens obsessed with Japan do. Shun is either elaborate and full of drama or has a sloppy mismatch of people who can't tell the difference between fantasy and reality. Cosplay isn't just about dressing up. It's about community. It's a way for people to reach out to each other and unite in a common interest. Cosplay not only brings together existing communities, but creates new ones. To me, cosplay is a form of art. Well, it fits with the general definition of you're dressing up. Uh, cosplay is an art and a hobby to me. But it's more than that. It's a way to express yourself. It's using your talents to create costumes and to act like them to bring them alive. I like to do it for fun and also because I get to meet a lot of people. The way to be someone else for a day. It's fun and creative. I mean, I'm mostly known for Kaito from Vocaloid. Lady Loki. Minna from The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess. Frisco from Homestuck. Levi and Alba. Levi is from Shingeki no Kyojin, Attack on Titan. And Alba is from Dramatic Murder. You know, I also have Gravity Falls cosplays or Paranorman and Coraline. <laughs> the community, there's so many fun people. I've made so many friends through cosplay. Depends on where you look. Make a lot of friends when you cosplay. Like, I've met most of my group of friends from cosplaying. That just turned out to basically be my siblings afterwards because I don't have any, but... <laughs> How people treat each other, it really depends on what kind of person we're talking about. There's the good side and then there's the bad side. To my knowledge, I have not seen very many students cosplay. I think you have, maybe? How, how, how you have? Um, I'm not sure. I think so. I think so. <laughs> Chody Bennett, I have seen cosplay before. Probably a couple years ago. Your freshman year of high school. It was like just seeing, uh, like I knew a lot like when I see pictures of like conventions and stuff like that, there are lots of people dressed up in costumes and stuff like that, so. Um, stereotypically, probably nerds and geeks. Um, unique people. People who read comics, people who play video games. With imagination and not afraid to be themselves, I don't know. I'm sure there are more people than just that that cosplay. It's depending on the place. I mean, around here, they do look at you like, whoa, what are you doing? But I mean, in Seattle, if you're walking in the streets, sometimes they'll just, you'll like get a honking horn and like, you're awesome, things like that. So depends on where you're at. Yes, so much. There was this one time I wanted to cosplay Rin Kagamine from Vogue Void and someone came up to me and said I couldn't because two other people were cosplaying her. People cosplaying the same characters as another person and then and then it ends up as like a battle as who can do the best at that character. In the media, I think it's portrayed a little bit too much. With the show Heroes of Cosplay, I really don't think that was an accurate portrayal of cosplayers. People are now thinking you have to look exactly like the character, which is not the case. I mean, it's whatever you can afford. In TV shows, it can be portrayed pretty poorly. Like, they have like these thousand dollar machines and money and like, like materials to buy. Like, some girl spent $200 on a ball cap. Like, most people don't have that kind of stuff. 
and just people try to lose weight, which I think is a dumb idea because, I mean, like, your body type is fine. Yeah. So they're kind of putting, like, a really high standard on all cosplayers because of the one show that they put in the media. You know, as long as you're really into it, it doesn't matter. That we don't know the difference between fantasy and reality. I've been asked, are you schizophrenic? You know this isn't real, and I just say, yeah, and I like it. Um, if you don't look exactly like the character, you can't cosplay them. I'm like a plus size cosplayer, so if I try to do anyone that's not like my size, I get a whole bunch of crap about it because, you know, I'm not thin. Um, cross-dressing, I'd say. Girls shouldn't turn into guys and guys shouldn't turn into girls. And a lot of them are just like, you can't do that, you're a girl. I only cosplay one girl. All the rest are guys. And I personally love to, because there's a lot of characters out there who are guys, but I'm a girl, but, you know, binding does wonders. The fact that you get to be someone else for a day, or for the amount of time, and that you can nerd out with your friends and stuff, and not get judged. Uh, it's how I met most of my friends. It gave me something to do in my life. Like before, I didn't really do anything. But now I have stuff to do and take my mind off of things. And I've made lots of friends. And I really think, like, I want to have this as, like, my second career. Sewing is a passion for me. Um, creating costumes and props is just so much fun. I remember the second time I went to a convention in Seattle, Soccer Con. I dressed as Minna for the first time, and a guy came up to me, hugged me, and spun me around for, like, five minutes then left yelling, she's the real Twilight Princess, not Bella Swan. My sister dragged me to the first year of the local convention. At the time, I was completely obsessed with Sailor Moon. And I did my hair up in like, meatball head style and I did Michelle Phan's um, Sailor Moon makeup and I looked so demonically in Sailor Moon, it was horrible. It's really had a big impact to that on me. Before I didn't make all the right decisions, and then I just had people who were like me and I could connect with them in a way that I couldn't with anyone else. Um, cosplay, just do it. If you feel the need to do it, just don't hold back. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Um, live your dream if you want to do this, and it can be a career. There's no holding back. Just go for it. Um. If you really want to cosplay, you should totally do it because it's really worth it and it's a life-changing experience. Don't let anyone say that you can't do something because they don't think you can, they don't think you're right for it. The only person who can say that is yourself. Don't judge people because of what they wear or what they do. It says nothing about who they really are. Outside. I ain't got no fire, no one body beside. Oh, I'm the bar humbug who says the least. But he's up on the political and say, pass the hand, please. You won't get a couple in your stocking, and you won't get a diamond ring. Those commercials.